We'll continue to monitor the activity of marbled salamanders this fall. And now our next subject. The pond directly in front of me is loaded with bullfrogs. I couldn't resist testing my new macro lens on these fine specimens. Bullfrogs are one of the most adaptive frog species in the country. Today, I'm testing out a new macro lens on my video camera around the pond. These bullfrogs are the perfect models. Notice the large eyes that distend from the head. When swallowing food, the eyes will collapse downwards into the frog's oral cavity, helping to push the meal down the frog's throat. This is a helpful adaptation, as bullfrogs will eat anything they can fit in their mouth, including birds, other frogs, and insects. In one remarkable case photographed on the internet, a frog even swallowed a chipmunk. One distinguishing feature of bullfrogs is their large circular ear, called a tympanum or tympanic membrane. In males, the tympanic membrane is larger than the eye, as illustrated here. Females have a membrane that is the same size or smaller than the eye. Males also have yellow pigment on their throats, while females are white. As we observe these frogs, notice all the variations in color and texture on the skin. The skin is very important for frogs, as it is permeable to water, oxygen, and pollutants. Most amphibians can absorb oxygen and water through their skin. This is another reason they must remain moist, because they can lose these elements through their skin as well. Amphibians are an indicator species of environmental conditions. If pollutants are at an unhealthy level in the water, they will be absorbed into the body and kill the frog or salamander. However, bullfrogs are one of the most resilient species of amphibians and can endure higher levels of pollutants than other species. By the way, notice the front fingers do not have any webs. They use their front arms to stuff food into their mouths. Only the hind feet are webbed. 